Hey everyone. These initial living my best life, level up life vlogs are going to be mostly me talking. So I've got Loki on camera to give you something cute to look at. The reason for this format initially is because I still haven't worked out a better way to vlog some of the topics this series will cover without showing things that don't really belong in a public vlog. These vlogs will obviously be from my point of view. Come back, Loki. <laughs> okay, um, as I was saying, these vlogs will obviously be from my point of view and are not intended as advice for anyone. If you like the way I approach healthy lifestyle topics, please talk to your doctor and or personal trainer before adopting the methods that work for me. We're all different and what's good for me might not be good for you. With that said, let's get started. So my goal with these vlogs is to discuss having and maintaining a healthy lifestyle and living my best life in general. Some of the initial challenges I'm setting are not new to me, but vlogging them is, and I feel like they need to be covered in this series, even though they're not actually new to me. Just trying to keep Loki on camera here. He's just going to fall asleep. So yeah, you're not really going to see much of him because it's just been one of those days for him where he just wants to sleep on the radiator all day. It's really cold here. Um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. I really like using Nerd Fitness. I'm not sponsored by them and I'm only using their free resources. I've put a link to my profile in the video description. So if you want to follow me on there, you can do. If you're not familiar with Nerd Fitness, it's a website run by geeks presenting healthy lifestyle as a fun game. Um, I reset my character sheet because I wanted to vlog everything. So there's a lot of things that I have already done that I'll be doing again, just so that I can vlog the process while I'm doing it. And to me, I think it's really important to actually vlog everything. Otherwise, this series is just going to have missing bits and that doesn't make sense to me. Um, there are two kinds of quests on Nerd Fitness. There's epic quests, which are set by the user, and then there are other quests set by Nerd Fitness. There's some of the quests set by Nerd Fitness that are things that, for example, I would never do. Um, I think they've got some things like skydiving, and that's just not me. So, I won't be doing those. <laughs> so when it comes to setting epic quests, Nerd Fitness suggests 100 XP for epic quests that take about 6 months to complete, or 6 months or longer to complete, because 100 XP equals 1 level in the epic quests. It's a different amount in the quest set by Nerd Fitness, and you as a user can't actually change that. There are some quests I've set that I think are worth a whole level, even though they don't take that long to do. For example, my quest to make and upload this video is worth a whole level to me because it holds me accountable for a regular ongoing series of healthy lifestyle vlogs. And I intended to start these sort of around Halloween and in my head I was kind of working myself up to it and then it's taken this long for me to decide that I just need to do it so obviously there's something there for me that makes it really important that I can actually hold myself accountable and make sure that I'm going to be doing these vlogs regularly A lot of my epic quests are phrased as 90 day challenges because this is how long it takes to form a positive habit for most people. Many of them, such as more advanced meal planning, are not supposed to be 90 days and done. Others, like studying languages I want to learn but don't necessarily want to speak fluently, are 90 day challenges. And that's, you know, study this language for 90 days without missing a day. After that, I really need to get Loki's face on camera, don't I? <laughs> After that 90 days, if it's not a language I'm intending to speak fluently, using that as the example, 
I'm not going to worry if I'm missing a day. Obviously, I don't want to go too long without actually practicing. Otherwise, I'm going to lose the skills. So, you know what I'm saying here. After that initial 90 days, they don't have to be every day, but they do have to be quite regular. So I wouldn't want to say go for a whole month without looking at them, for example. Or without studying them, I should say. Um, yeah, so on that topic, actually, I should say that I am aiming to become fluent in Swedish. So as I use language as an example, Swedish is going to be different. I have set that up as a 90 day challenge, but that is one that's going to be continuing every single day. Um, I've also set those up to be a 20 minutes a day minimum amount, but with Swedish, because I do want to become properly fluent, 20 minutes a day is really not enough. So whenever possible, I'm going to do a lot more than that. Today, obviously, I've updated Today I've obviously updated my nerd fitness profile. Sorry, I was getting my words all muddled up there. <laughs> I've planned meals for the next week in a boring but healthy way. For example, lunches are all going to be salads. Um, I'm making... Probably I could make healthier options than, for example, chili con carne is one of my favourite foods. I say chili con carne, it's more like vegetable bean chili because I pretty much never put meat in it. Um, I'm not actually vegan, and I wouldn't really say that I'm vegetarian. I very, very occasionally do have meat, but that's usually in restaurants where they don't actually have any decent vegetarian or vegan options. Um, but yeah, chilli is one of my favourite things. I could probably make much, much healthier meals than that, but it's winter, and there's a lot of veg in it, and I don't just make it like chili and rice I do have like a side of veg with it as well so I tend to add things like broccoli as well so I feel that I'm making that healthier than some chilies still could do better but I feel like that's a really good healthy start for the middle of winter when I kind of more want to be eating just warm comfort food so yeah um, and actually the salads for lunch, they're really good to say that I'm doing that in winter when I kind of want to be lazy and maybe have a slice of pizza. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm doing good on that planning. Um, I could also, as an improvement as this challenge goes along, I kind of want to put in a lot more variety with things like that. But at the same time, as long as it's healthy and as long as it's properly planned, so... I'm not ending up with something like half a lettuce just sitting there going bad and no ideas what to do with it. Or, you know, a few potatoes that are starting to sprout. And that's just wasteful and I don't want to be doing that. So as long as that's not happening, it's cool. <laughs> um, I've already said I've done Swedish study. Um... If you're following my channel already, you've already seen Loki's vlog go up. And obviously I've made this video, so yeah. I'm also looking at notes here to make sure I'm mentioning everything. So very occasionally I'm obviously dropping the camera away. And Loki's moving so he's not staying properly on the camera. Anyway, you still get to see him and he's cute. Thanks to the apartment above having that leak into our kitchen that happened again while it was being fixed, I managed to slip over, hurt one of my feet really badly, and I've got bruises all over my legs and my arse at the moment. So it's probably gonna be a few more days before I can actually get back to things like yoga and running, just because at the moment it hurts to do those things. <laughs> so yeah, I don't need to be causing myself more pain. I'm just gonna take a few days off from that and I'll start vlogging about those when I'm not in too much pain to do them. I've got eco-friendly, minimal waste, zero waste, whatever you want to call it, quests. And that's not me trying to be completely zero waste. 
I don't think it's realistic to try and be completely zero waste. I've put that in there just because that's a term people search for for this particular discussion. Um, most of my waste actually comes from unavoidable supermarket packaging. So for me, this is about looking for any improvements I can make. I've set it as a 90 day challenge, but realistically, it's about having the mindset to constantly look at anything I can improve. For example, knowing that a lot of my waste actually comes from supermarket shopping, it's things like you go and you buy a whole cucumber that realistically they could just have unpackaged. They wrap it in a single use plastic film that's non-recyclable. So that's just straight up in the landfill. Um, rather than not buying cucumbers, because that's unrealistic, especially when I'm wanting to obviously have healthy meal options, the only thing I can really do with something like that is email the supermarket and just suggest that it's a whole cucumber. Maybe it doesn't need to be in plastic packaging or any packaging. Um, that won't necessarily make the supermarket change the packaging or remove the packaging. But for me as an individual, that's about all I can do with something like that. Um, I'm also not going to be avoiding all plastics, so, well, as I've said, things like the cucumber example, you cannot avoid that kind of plastic packaging, but I'm also not trying to go completely plastic free with everything. Um, the example I can think of to best explain this is water bottles. Reusable water bottles are amazing, and obviously we can get glass reusable bottles, we can get various metal ones and the aluminium ones not so great they tend to have like a coating on the inside that can very quickly go funny and then you have to buy a new bottle but the stainless steel ones are really good the only problem i've found with them is that working from home it's not like i'm taking them into an office where it's perfectly acceptable to have glass or steel most of the time when i'm going out and actually need to use a reusable water bottle it's to various events like gigs and conventions where, although the last time I went to one that didn't allow any kind of reusable bottles, they were just all being confiscated on the door, was about probably a year or two ago. I've still noticed a lot of venues actually only allow reusable plastic bottles. Um, there's like a health and safety thing where for some reason, even with all the extra security that gigs have these days, there's like an assumption that people are going to start fights with water bottles or something. I don't know. Um, I suppose, obviously, many, many years ago, you did used to hear about a lot of things like bottles being thrown at bands if they weren't good enough. If they forgot the lyrics or something, if they tried to walk off stage without performing, I don't know. Um, I really don't know why people used to throw bottles at bands, but I know it used to happen. And I know that's why the whole thing was brought in where if there was a band performing, even in bars, because I used to co-run a bar, um, we wouldn't serve drinks in glass bottles or glasses. They'd always have to be put in these plastic cups. And they're single-use plastic cups. Um, and I know that comes from things like bottles apparently used to get thrown at bands. I never understood why anybody would do that, you know? But obviously it used to happen, and so this is just what we get to deal with. So if you're worried about having a reusable plastic bottle, I would say don't because, or don't worry about it, not don't have the reusable plastic bottle. Because at the end of the day, if you can take that into gigs that won't let you use glass or metal, obviously you're still avoiding using any single-use plastics so that's good um the last quest i want to talk about in this video is one that i set where i will replace all drinks with water for a 90-day challenge now this is just something that i want to do it's not a permanent change i just kind of want to see how i feel after doing that for 90 days i'm not planning to do that in winter because in winter, what I really want in my drinks 
are nice hot drinks where I can hold the mug in my hands and just feel nice and warm and cosy. Um, obviously not going to get that if I'm drinking only water. I suppose I could drink warm water, but nobody wants to drink warm water. Or at least I don't. I don't imagine anybody really wants to drink warm water. It's a bit weird. Um, I suppose I could put like warm water with lemon in but then or you know lime maybe strawberries or something so it's warm infused water but then that's not just drinking water because that's infused water so what I'm going to do with that is save that challenge until it's warmer kind of back into summertime because when it's summer and I'm not just wanting to kind of snuggle up with a warm drink then it's going to be so much easier <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be a summer thing and obviously like I say, it's just something I want to see if I can do. It's not actually a permanent change. Um, I think that's everything. Just scanning through my notes to double check. Yep, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry Loki's not actually been doing anything other than sleeping, really. I'm sure if you've seen any of his vlogs, you will know that he just does that when it's cold. It's just like, cold weather, radiator, sleep. <laughs> so yeah, that was everything I wanted to talk about for tonight. I think I've rambled on in some places, but hopefully I've made sense. Um, I don't really want to edit bits out. I don't like video editing if I don't have to do it. It takes up time and I'm about living life, not spending forever just trying to edit videos unnecessarily. So that's all for tonight. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.